In the middle of a big city, there is a park for children to come and play. With every season that comes around, there is something to do within the park. In the summer, the children sell boats, and in the fall, they fly kites and go on picnics. And in the winter, they go ice skating and sledding. And in the spring, they run and play. No matter what season it was, the children are able to enjoy the zoo. Families from all kinds come to visit the zoo and the animals that live there. They were not the only families in the park, and the animals at the zoo had families too. There are mommy, dad, mommy and daddy zebras with baby zebras. There are monkey moms with monkey dads raising rowdy monkey babies. There are bird families and giraffe families. Can you think of some other zoo families? In the penguin house, there lived the chinstrap penguins. Every year at the same time, girl and boy penguins find the right one for them. They look and look until they meet a very special penguin. Two of these penguins were very different than the other penguins. Roy and Silo were both boy penguins. They did everything together, whether it be walking or swimming. They had so much fun being together. One day, Roy and Silo noticed other penguins building homes, so they decided to build one too. Every night, Roy and Silo slept together just as all the other penguin couples did. One day, they seen the other couples were doing something that they could not. The other couples had laid eggs and were taking turns keeping the eggs safe and warm. They both took turns taking care of their home in hopes for an egg. The nest remained empty, and after many months, the zookeeper noticed that the two boy penguins wanted help starting a family. The zookeeper placed an egg in a, with a good home. While Silo was out swimming, Roy watched the egg. And when Roy was swimming, Silo watched the egg until one day something changed. Peep, peep. Roy was sitting on the egg to move to see where the noise was coming from. Silo was curious as well. They both squawked back. The peep noise started again. The shell began to crack and more and more came out until a big black beak poked out. Her name was Tango because it takes two to tango. Roy and Silo taught Tango many things. She could sing when she was hungry, and they snuggled her in the nest at night. One day, after Tango was strong enough, she was able to leave the nest, and they swam together for all the ch crowds to see. And after a fun day, they returned to the nest to get a restful night of sleep, and they snuggled together like all the other families in the zoo.